sure that there are a whole variety of mutations uh, within the dystrophin gene that can affect, uh, uh, lead to muscular dystrophy, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The way Translarna works is by focusing on nonsense mutation, uh, nonsense mutations in the dystrophin gene. And that's what then causes for that patient population the emergence of the disease state. So this is a very particular small molecule approach that a nonsense mutation leads to a premature stop in the way the protein is made. So a non-functional or less than functional protein is made. What the small molecule translarna approach is able to do is to allow the protein to continue to be made so that full length protein that is entirely functional can be produced. And that then can have benefits to patients uh, with the underlying mutation. Even though you're not correcting the underlying mutation, the small molecule is able to read through that stop codon, as we call it, and allow a full length protein to be made. The emergence of all of the science has really driven new approaches to intervention, new modalities that can be explored for patients with gene, uh, with a, a Duchenne muscular dystrophy, whether it's gene therapy, small molecules, other approaches to boost the amount of dystrophin that uh, are made or look at uh, uh, smaller versions of dystrophin which can be just as functional is really kind of led the field into a, a very exciting time uh, with lots of potential options available for patients. Still remain with high unmet medical need, but as these technologies take their next steps, get through clinical development and to approval, the range of options available for patients with Duchenne will sort of increase exponentially. As you said, just uh, 10 years ago, there was very little that we could do other than symptomatic management for these patients. And so we think that, for example, with PTC small molecule approach, it's a very good approach for the subset of patients with nonsense mutations in DMD because it provides a treatment option for those patients and it's uh, by virtue of the clinical development that we've done shown to be very very effective uh, to date with a very good profile both in terms of safety and efficacy for patients with that type of mutation underlying their Duchenne.